So how's it going, boss buddies? I hope everybody's well and having a f or had a fantastic week. Unfortunately, I've had a very, very busy week. It's been my birthday. Also, I've been doing some work for charity and it feels like forever since I did a video. But I thought I'd put together six super soapy and citrusy spring fragrances for you. So I'm gonna be back with those in just a second. So welcome back, you're watching the Luxury Fragrance Boss channel. My name's Scott, of course I'm the Luxury Fragrance Boss. Now, as I said a second ago, I thought it would be good to put together my list of six super soapy and citrusy spring and summer scents. So if you can say that one three times quickly, fantastic for you, because um, I struggled to say it just the once and it's taken me a few takes just to get those words out in, in any particular order. Um, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Um, for those of you that support me already, thank you so much. Um, if you enjoy my content, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well if you, don't or if you haven't done already. Um, so as I said, I thought it'd be good to put together my list of six super soapy and citrusy um, spring and summer scents. So let's kick it off straight away. Now straight away I'm going to go with one that I actually wore a couple of weeks ago. And this one is London by Gallivant. Um, bear with me a second while I just bring up the uh, notes in this one. Um, this one, I mean, when I wore this the other day, one thing I really loved about this one is it really reminds me of the British summertime. Last summer, I was back, um, I was back at my parents' house. We were sitting out on the lawn. Um, we're sitting, my, my parents have got like a little um, sort of like pagoda thing that sits uh, over the pond. Um, but yeah, the, I mean, surrounded by flowers and drinking gin and tonics on the lawn when it's beautiful outside. Um, this is really the sense I got from this one. It really reminds me of um, drinking gin and tonics. <clears throat> I think the main reason behind that is because it's a very fresh fragrance and it's also got cucumber in the top notes as well, which I mean, this, this one really is a, such a sort of beautiful, fresh, it's got a tiny bit of floral in there, but it's not overpowering. So, and I said, as I said, um, that cucumber note is quite, uh, it's quite dominant in this one, but yeah, very, very beautiful sort of fresh summer scent. Um, yeah, I mean, so on the hotter days in spring and summer, these are gonna be six fantastic fragrances that are gonna keep you feeling nice and cool, nice and fresh, and very, very clean all day. So um, just going over the top notes of this one, you got cucumber and violet leaf. In the heart notes, you got rose de mai, absolute, uh, rose oil and orris root. In the base notes, you got leather, sandalwood, patchouli, and cedarwood. Now, despite the fact you've got leather and patchouli in there, this, as I said, is a very, very fresh, very, very sort of clean smelling fragrance and just wonderful and keeps you feeling nice and cool and very, very refreshing as well. So, I mean, this one coming in at number six, mainly because this one doesn't have sort of, um, any citrusy notes in it so, so much. Um, I've got a couple that don't actually have the citrusy notes in, but they're very, very fresh, very, very clean smelling fragrances. So let's go into my number five now. Number five is the other one that doesn't carry any citrusy notes. Um, which is Every Storm is a Serenade from um, Imaginary Authors. This one, I think, is just such a beautiful sort of fresh fragrance as well. It's got a little bit of greenness to it. If I was to liken this to any other scent, it would be, um, it'd be this one right here, Erolfa by Creed. Um, however, if I was to replace my Erolfa, um, I would definitely replace it with this one here. The reason I say that is as much as I love Erolfa, this one's just a little bit more unique. Arolfa can smell, I wouldn't say generic as much, um, but it's it's not sort of a, a particularly unique smelling fragrance. This one is pretty much Arolfa, but with a couple of green notes in there as well. This one also is a lot more powerful than Arolfa and it lasts a lot longer. Well, I, I say a lot longer. Um, you definitely gonna get a few more hours out of this one over Arolfa. Arolfa lasts me, I mean, quite a long time as, as well. Um, but this one is definitely stronger for longer. So um, this would be the one that I would choose to replace my Rolfa with um, if, if it starts to run a bit low. As you can see, I've still got quite a bit left in there. So it could be a while before I replace that, but they are very, very similar fragrances. Um, so the notes in this one, you've got Danish spruce, eucalyptus, you've got that beautiful fresh vetiver, you've got cologne, ambergris, and Baltic sea mist. And these to go together to make such a beautiful, um, it's sort of such a, it's just a beautiful sort of very, very sort of sea breeze sort of smelling. I mean, it's got quite salty sort of sea smell about it, but yeah, you've got that beautiful, there's a, there's a hint of greenness that makes this very, very unique. But it's still very, very fresh and a wonderful fragrance for spring and summer. Very, very refreshing yet again. And also very, very clean smelling as well. So in number five, you've got Every Storm Serenade by Imaginary Authors. 
So next up in number four, I've gone for a wonderful, really sort of zesty orange smelling fragrance. This one's really clean. It's very, very soapy smelling, but really, really, I mean, it's really, really orangey. Um, the one I'm talking about is Cologne by Etat Libre d'Orange. Um, this one, this go over the nose of this one, right? You've got blood orange, orange blossom, bergamot, jasmine, uh, musk, and leather. Now the musk and leather don't make it sort of too powdery or too dark or anything like that. It's a really, really fresh smelling fragrance. Very, very clean smelling fragrance. If you're looking for something that's quite orangey, quite zesty and zingy, um, this is definitely gonna be, I think, the probably the most out of the, out of the six that I've chosen. Um, this is definitely the one with the most sort of tang to it. Um, possibly uh, between this and one other one that I've got. Um, but yeah, this, um, this one's definitely worth checking out. If you do like those sort of really citrusy, sort of clean uh, smelling notes, um, this one, I mean, this one's definitely a, a beautiful orangey fragrance, definitely a winner, um, definitely deserves to be on the citrusy um, and soapy smelling fragrance list. So in number four, we've got Cologne by Etat Libre Duron. So into the top three, and next up we've got one called Bergamust by Gallagher. This is one that I wore only on Friday, and I really, really enjoyed this one. Bearing in mind, I'm not a massive fan of sort of super soapy fragrances or super fresh fragrances anymore, but I really did enjoy wearing this one. Uh, this one was actually sent to me by uh, one of my subscribers, a massive shout out to Downtown614. If you don't follow him on Instagram, make sure you uh, make sure you look him up. Um, you can find him at, obviously, Downtown614. Um, he sent me a bunch of Bruno Fazolari ones because he wanted me to try those out, which I really, really enjoyed. Uh, but he also sent me a whole bunch of other stuff as well, which I could not be more thankful for. Um, so this was one of the ones that was in there, and I did actually take a picture of this to um, post on Instagram as my scent of the day um, around two weeks ago. In the end, I chose not to wear it um, until yesterday. I thought, I've got to try this fragrance. I mean, I, I just fancied something really fresh, sort of really zesty. Um, and this one delivered absolutely that. Um, I mean, Bergamust is the most perfect name for it. This one's a really sort of super soapy smelling Bergamo fragrance. It really is an absolutely sort of wonderful fresh fragrance, especially, if, I mean, it was a very, very warm day yesterday. So I really did enjoy sort of those fresh notes and sort of keeping me feeling nice and cool. Uh, now the notes in this one, in the top, you've got Bergamo and Ocean Mist. In the heart notes, you've got cedar and orange blossom. In the base notes, you've got ambroxan, which is quite light. You've got iso, e-super, and you've got white amber musk as well. Now, as I said, I mean, the musk doesn't give it sort of, you, you wouldn't really know that the musk is there. I mean, the iso, e-super definitely gives it a, definitely gives it that boost. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's a super clean, sort of really fresh smelling fragrance. And definitely got a lot of bergamot in there. It's, it's obviously, I mean, that's the name of it. It is very, very dominant. But yeah, I mean, if you want to enjoy smelling like a wonderful sort of, I'd say a drive through Florida, um, that's pretty much the best way I can describe it. One thing I remember from a road trip that I did, um, probably close to about 19, 20 years ago, um, driving through Florida um, and driving past like, all the orange orchards and things like that. It's just that wonderful sort of fresh citrusy smell blowing um, blowing in the air. And that's exactly what this one reminds me of. So yeah, I mean, Bergamas by Gallagher definitely deserves the number three spot. So let's get into the top two. Now it's gonna be quite hard for me to pick between these two. Um, in number two though, I'm gonna have to go with one of my favorite fragrances of all time, and that's Green Irish Tweed, uh, sorry, Green Irish Tweed from the House of Creed. Now the notes in this one obviously are very fresh. This one's a super soapy fragrance, which is, I mean, this was once my signature, uh, I'd say my signature fragrance. I used to wear this pretty much nine days out of 10, I would say. I really do love this one. This was one of my first creeds that I actually got myself. As you can see, this is in the older bottle. Um, there's not much of this one left, unfortunately. I think this was my third bottle of Green Irish Tweed. Um, obviously, I don't wear this one so much anymore, which is why it's lasted me quite a long time. Um, plus, I've got, I mean, I've got 30 other fragrances now, as well as sort of all the samples that I wear every, every day to sort of test out. But, I mean, this is still one of the best soapy sort of citrusy fragrances that you can buy. Um, really, really fresh, really, really long lasting. I mean, all of these are fantastic performance. I wouldn't recommend them if they didn't have that. But yeah, I mean, this one, this one will always have a place in my heart. My seatbelt in my car still smells like this. F funny enough, it's probably, I don't know why this one tends to sit on the uh, seatbelt for, for more than sort of any other fragrance. But yeah, this one, 
This one, I can still smell on my seatbelt in my car. Um, so in the top notes of this one, you've got lemon and verbena. In the heart notes, you've got iris and violet leaf. In the base notes, you've got Missouri, sandalwood, and ambergris. And I mean, I'm sure this one needs no introduction. If you haven't tried this one, definitely get a sample of it because if you're looking for something that's perfect for sort of smelling really clean, really soapy, and really fresh, um, this one's perfect sort of if you're dressing up as well. If you imagine sort of wearing a nice sort of crisp white shirt, um, dressing up for like the summer day or a summer evening, this is the absolute perfect fragrance. It's, it's just pure class, I think. Um, so Green Iris Tweed, we've got in number two. Now going into the number one spot is this one right here. This is one that I tried a few months ago. Uh, I picked up um, the Discovery set from Atelier Cologne uh, back in October. Um, and one of the ones that I found to be really sort of tangy, really, really beautiful. Um, this was actually the first one I wore. Um, it's one of the soapiest fragrances I've ever smelled and it's Clementine California from Atelier Cologne. I mean, this one is just the perfect sort of citrusy, clean, soapy fragrance, which is why it deserves to be at the number one spot. And I mean, one thing about the Atelier Colognes as well is they are so incredibly reasonably priced. I think they're about $120 for 100 mil, which is for the quality of the fragrances that you're gonna get from Atelier Cologne is just absolutely unbeatable. I mean, I picked up my, my one in, I picked up my Discovery set in Sephora. Let me grab it and show you quickly. Uh, this was the Discovery set that I got. And in here, you've got eight different fragrances. Um, I mean, they call it the travel the travel palette. Um, but yeah, I mean, you've got some ones that are based on sort of different cities and stuff from all around the world. But yeah, I mean, my favorite overall was um, Vanille Intense, um, which is the, I think the New York one. But yeah, I mean, this one's the, the Los Angeles one, Clementine, California, and I mean, similar to, I guess, Bergamust, it smells very much like driving through Florida and you've got those beautiful sort of orangey notes that are just floating around in the air. But yeah, I mean, this one's super soapy, super tangy. Um, if you do love your sort of your orangey scents, this is definitely one to go for. So let's go over the notes of this one. In the top notes, you've got juniper berry and mandarin. In the heart notes, you've got star anise, pepper and the clementine. And in the base notes, you've got Haitian vetiver, sandalwood and cypress. And they just make an absolutely mind-blowing combination. If you're looking for something super soapy and super clean smelling, as I said, Atelier Clones Clementine California would be my number one choice. Um, if it didn't, if, I mean, if it, it came down to these two, it would be very, very hard for me to choose. I'd say this one's probably a little bit more unique though, um, based on those sort of that Mandarin and the Clementine notes in this one. But if you're looking for something really classy, super clean for the evening, I'd say definitely the green iris tweed. So those are my six super soapy and citrusy spring summer scents. So um, as usual, please like, comment and subscribe below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Let me know which ones are your favorites, your, your favorite sort of citrusy scents. Um, as I always love to hear your recommendations. So please stick them in the comments below. Um, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. You can find me at Luxury Fruits Boss. Um, uh, that way you can keep up to date with my scent of the day, anything else that's going on with the kittens as they continue to destroy my house and uh, drive me crazy, uh, as well as uh, keeping me up all night. Uh, besides that, don't, fo uh, don't forget to hit that notification bell as well. So hit that and you'll never miss another video and you'll be the first to know when I'm releasing a new video. Um, besides that, stay smelling fantastic. I look forward to seeing you very soon in my next review and thank you so much for watching.